Ooh, we got all sorts of numbers shuffling around at Jets Camp. Well, hello everybody, this is Green Bean, right dead smack in the middle of the day. We're gonna get this video out because I just wanna talk about it. As you know, I pay attention to such things as details. It's amazing, I know, but I try to pay attention to little nuances and details so we can talk about it. What's better to talk about than details? So before we get into all this, I wanna just remind you quickly a couple of things. One is if you find it in your heart, go ahead and hit that little thumbs up button. It means the world to the YouTube algorithm and they think fondly of me. If you want more of what you're seeing, go ahead and hit that rectangular subscribe button. That's a good one. If you want to be reminded every time I go live, which just like tonight, that the Thursday thick of it, you'll be reminded in case you're doing something else. YouTube will say, hey, hey, don't forget about the Thursday thick of it. You can hit the bell notification. And if you want exclusive content, a lot of private time with me and the rest of the group, join the Beanbaggers. The link is in the top of the description. You'll see it. It says Patreon. Click on that and join the party. So guys, thank you, thank you, thank you for being here. I love talking about this stuff. And look, it's just about to be the dead season, right? Like this is where we have the lull, the lull in all of our Jets news. We had all the stuff, the free agency, the draft. Jermaine yes. Johnson. Yes, yes, oh, let's go, let's go. Yes. Oh, Joey, baby. <laughs> Let's go. The schedule. We had rookie minicamp and all this stuff. And now we just start to slowly boop, 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 trickle down. But we have some fun stuff to talk about. Now, a lot of you guys know I have been a Denzel Mims supporter from the word go. He was a top three or top four, really, uh, wide receiver that I had in that draft. Loved him. Loved him that we were able to move and shake and still get him. He, uh, he had a great rookie year as far as after his injury. He came in, looked really good, showed a lot of yak ability, showed a lot of flexibility, height, reach, contested balls, all that sort of stuff. And then we had last year where a lot of us were really hoping to see him get more involved. Didn't happen. Had a couple moments, but by and large, it was a very disappointing season. Now, Denzel Mims comes back to camp this time and he looks different. He's ripped. He's got a trainer out there singing his praises. His chest looks bigger. His shoulders look bigger. He looks leaner and, and sleeker. And they say that he's been knocking it out of the park as far as how he's been approaching the offseason. Hey, what else could you want to hear? Now, it doesn't necessarily mean anything, but it's a good sign, right? I don't think too many people look at this and go, ah, you know, it's like, okay, good. That's what you want to see. He starts at wide receiver five and he climbs up and it looks like he's at least taken the approach that he has a pot, you know, the, the potential to do that. So here's the thing with Denzel Mims. Denzel Mims has number 11. He's worn that for the first two years of his career. Now we saw a little tweet where Jermaine Johnson and his family were touring the Jets locker room. And within a few seconds, he looked right at the locker for Denzel Mims and said, oh, I got to do some business with this one. Now, what does that mean? That means Jermaine Johnson finds it important. He fi he's taking it seriously. He places value on having his collegiate number transfer with him to the NFL level. So what does he mean? I got to do business. Well, hey, we see all sorts of crazy things go on for players that want to get another number that's already being worn by another player. So Denzel Mims has 11. Jermaine Johnson wants to have it. Now, we just saw Kayvon Thibodeau. Kayvon Thibodeau just made a $50,000 donation to the player who was wearing number five for the New York Giants so he could get that. 50 grand. We've seen as high as $250,000. We've seen cars. We've seen all sorts of stuff. We don't know what Denzel Mims would require, but here's the thing. Denzel Mims put out a tweet the other day that he just had him with number 15 on, like showing number 15. Why is it? Why, why you do that? Well, he wore number 15 in college, right? So there's that. It could mean that these negotiations are already taking place. Now, Denzel Mims wore two numbers in college. So that's the good news. He can pick one or the other. He wore number 15, as we just said, and he wore number five. 
Here's the problem. Number five is already hotly contested. We have uh, Mike Effman White wears number five. Garrett Wilson uh, wore number five in college. So there's a little bit of a something there. We already got two players that could be vying for that, and somebody else already owns it. So what, Denzel Mims going to sell off 11 and then try to buy five? A little bit, little bit convoluted there. So five is probably out. But okay, good. He's got another number, 15. Guess what? Eddie Pinheiro has 15, and you think, ah, it's Eddie Pinheiro. He's a kicker. Just tell him you're taking his number. He's kickers. What are kickers going to do? Well, Eddie Pinheiro wore number 15 for the Bears, too. That's his number. It's not just like a lot of kickers. They'll just come on and go, yeah, what number do you have left? Six, four, one, nine, whatever. I'll take it. Eddie Pinheiro has worn the number 15. That's his number. So he might be reluctant to give it up. So then could we see Mims with another number, like just some weird uh, out-of-the-box number that has never been associated with him? I guess that's possible. But here's the thing. Why would Denzel Mims do it? Just say, screw you, buddy. I've been in the league three years. I'm about to have a career year. Uh, beat it. He could. You know, and what's Jermaine Johnson going to say? He can't do anything, right? But it could could be a negative a little interaction. But I don't know if, you know, if Denzel Mims just said, hey, no, I love my number and I want to keep it. Okay, it is what it is. But here's the thing. You know what I think? I think that Denzel Mims just might want to change his number. The last two years, even though he's shown some legitimate flashes, the last two years have been wacky. Right? He had a really good college career, 60 or so receptions every single year, a bunch of touchdowns, looked really, really good. Again, he had those moments his rookie year, but nothing crazy. You know, he, uh, he had the, it was the COVID season. They had no training camp, no preseason. He got hurt. He pulled two hamstrings uh, consecutively, one right after another, and then only played about half of the season. Yeah, last year, he didn't do anything. So number 11 could be tainted for Denzel Mims. Give it to somebody else fresh. Let them have it and, and just, you know, create a whole new fresh outlook for number 11. And for you, Denzel Mims, why not just put the stamp on this year? I'm starting over. I went, got, got a new trainer, new nutritionist, took a whole new approach this offseason. I look like a different person. I'm focused. I'm working hard. And I have a completely different number, which will just put the stamp on starting fresh. This is all new. It's a whole new career. Number 15, number 12, whatever it is for you. I want you to know. I racked my brain to think of a number that I didn't see anybody having on our team, and I landed on the number 12. It was mere seconds later that I realized number 12 is retired because that was Joe Namath's. You don't have to get mad at me anymore. Thank you. Just move forward like that. I think it could have some validity. Sometimes it's it's it, that type of stuff really matters. Like a lot of times when when people are trying to get sober, right? We tell them all the time if they have to go back to their apartment. Sometimes we'll say to that person, when you go back, change your furniture around. Just move your furniture around. Of course, it's still the same place. It's still the same furniture, but it has a different feel to it. It just it has value. You'd be surprised how much of an impact taking your bed, putting it on that side, moving the couch, put the TV on the other wall. It feels like a different place. It feels fresh. And I think number 15 could feel fresh for Denzel Mims. Again, this would apply to another number, but I have a sneaking suspicion he might be able to get 15 from Eddie Pinheiro. And I think that would be cool. So then we're all fresh. Number 11's a new guy, a completely different side of the ball. Number 15 is a new guy. It's a new Denzel Mims. People wouldn't even remember him. For all the casual fans, they'll go, who the hell's number 15? You know you'll hear that. You'll be sitting at the stadium and go, hey, who's 15 that just caught that 74-yard bomb and, and ran over three defensive backs on the way? So, oh, that's Denzel Mims. That can't be Denzel Mims. I heard he sucks. And then we can have that conversation. By the way, I will be expecting apologies by about three, 4,000 of you. Oh, two or four. After Denzel Mims proves everybody wrong this year. I'm really looking forward to it. But there's a lot of that going on. Now, just briefly, we talked about Garrett Wilson for a little bit. Garrett Wilson, he's wearing the number 17, and number 5 is Mike F.M. White. I think it might just be calmer, cooler, just for Garrett Wilson to wear number 17. I gotta say, I like it on him. I really do. I like number 17 as our new, fresh, first-round wide receiver. I think that's good. And then we have another rookie, or two really, 
we saw two rookies. Everybody hated their numbers, and those were Sauce Gardner wore number 20. That wasn't so bad, but people didn't like it. And then we had Brees Hall wearing number 35. Oh, my God, I thought Jet Nation was going to have a meltdown. So number 35 for Brees Hall, number 24, Sauce Gardner. It turns out that Sauce was able to procure number one from DJ Reed, who just came over from the Seattle Seahawks and had it. They figured out a deal. I heard 250000 I, I know that's, that, that can't be right. Sauce Gardner came out and said, that's baloney, and laughed at it. So, But that's what we heard. Uh, either way, he was able to procure the number one from DJ Reed. So Sauce Gardner has one, and that freed up number 20, and Brees Hall snatched it in a hurry. Looks like he didn't like 35 either. So for anybody who was complaining about that and said it didn't look right, you weren't alone. The player didn't like it either because it didn't take very long for him to jump off that number the first opportunity that came along. So here we go. We might have a Jermaine Johnson 11. We might have a Garrett Wilson staying with 17. You might have a Denzel Mims with number 15. And you have a Sauce Gardner with number 1. And you might have a Brees Hall with number 20. What do you guys think? I think it's good. I think it's all fresh. Let's just put a stamp on this last era and start this year. Brand new Jets. Brand new career. We're ready to go. We're going to punch people in the mouth. Michael Clemens is coming. Let's get this going. Let me know what you think in the comments. Does it matter to you? Do you like Denzel Mims with number 15? Or do you think he should fight for it? Can't wait to hear what you guys have to say. Have a great week, everybody. And as always, go Jets.